Hello queens and kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Welcome to the final part of our black and white Debele stitch. I'm quite excited that this is the final part. And this part, you're not going to... So the aim for today is just to show you how you can get started when you close off your butterfly and you finish off the wings of your butterfly we're not going to completely do that because it's the same as closing off is the same as when you're creating the wings so closing the wings is the same as when you are still creating the wings it's just that what you're going to do is going to be in reverse so if you started with two black and three white for example so it's gonna be reverse it's gonna be three white and then two black you see but from here on i'm quite confident that you'll be able to manage so i'm quite excited for this tutorial because it's the final part hey we've been struggling <laughs> to be consistent because of level six load shading but finally 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 it is here so let's get started oh before we get started what materials will we will we be using our eight knot size zest beads we're also going to be using upholstery thread and needle so let's get started so this is where we stopped on, on the previous video i did mention that you have to continue and you're going to decide on the length of your butterfly if you want it if you want your butterfly to be short or tall or long not tall <laughs> it's going to be determined on the number of lines so for me i ended up having seven lines in um, in total so now i'm going to start off by decreasing the the wings of the butterfly so the focus will not be on the sides because the sides are going to be the same so this these parts i'm going to skip out i'm only going to shoot the part when we get to the center where the action really happens so i just wanted to show you where i was before i'm going to get started so but for now for this row that we're going to make at the center we have to have a total of six black beads and then for our white we have two four we have to have five white beads this side and this side for this row so let me get started with this side and then i'm going to shoot uh the part where the action happens so you finally at the point where the action happens you're going to pick up one white and one black bead so the aim as you close off the wings is to decrease the white block the this these white blocks so that is the aim so you're going to pick up two black beads and then two black beads And then you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead. One black and one white. So we're going to continue the very same way and then we're going to come back at this point. So I started the new line. I'm just gonna flip it like this so you first at, at inside the white block you're going to uh, add four white beads then after you add your four white beads you're going to follow up with two black beads so you pick up two black beads You pick up two black beads and you add them. And 
and then you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead one white bead and one black bead and then you pick up one black bead and one white bead then you pick up two black beads and then you continue with the rest of the row oh sorry let it focus sorry about that sorry about the blurry picture so you're going to pick up your four white beads two black uh two white two black you continue with the new line Two black beads, two white, two black, and then we want to add three white beads. So the aim is for our uh, white block to keep on decreasing as we continue to move up. We meet again at this point. So you're going to have three white beads in total. So at this point, you want to pick up one white bead and one black bead. And then you pick up one black bead and one white bead. Then you're going to pick up your one white bead and one black bead. Then you pick up your one black bead and one white bead. Then you pick up one white bead and one black bead. And then you pick up one black bead and one white bead one black one white so you're just going to continue and when you come back for the next line just make sure that you have you have two white beads instead ne? yes two white beads so this is the new row uh, you're going to add the two white beads so now we're going to continue so you're going to pick up two black beads you add your two black beads so here you're going to continue with your white beads so you pick up two white beads And then you pick up one white bead and one black bead. Then you pick up your one black bead and one white bead. Then you pick up your two white beads. Hey, these knots. Hi, 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 hi. Okay. And then you pick up two black beads.
your two black beads and then you continue with your two white beads so on the next row just make sure that you have your one white bead so what we do what we have done here at the bottom is, is, is the same thing that we're going to do here at the top so this is the new row here you're going to have one white bead so you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead my puppy gets so excited when it comes to um rooms so you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead you pick up two white beads <laughs> two white beads they're busy sweeping in he is barking one white bead and one black bead and then you pick up one black bead and one white bead Then you pick up two white beads. Then at this point, you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead. And then I'm going to pick up one black bead and one white bead. One black bead and one white bead. So you've done with the inside of the white block. So when you continue and you start the new line, just make sure that you have four black beads so starting from here the first two rows here you're going to have your two black beads and then even here you're going to have your two black beads so in total you're going to have four black beads so i'm going to come back and show you how it turned out so this is where we are so this these are the four beads i meant before so now we're going to continue with our white beads so we have four white beads for this row, you're going to make sure that you add five white beads. So this is your first two white beads from the five. This is your second two white beads. So in total, you have four. Now you're going to add one more white bead. You pick up one white and one black bead. And here you pick up one black bead and one white bead. Then you pick up. So after this point, you want to do the very same thing that you did on the side. I'm sorry, I'm trying to save time. <laughs> That's why some parts I'm cutting. So you're going to pick up your five white beads. And then four black beads. So currently we have, you, we've added our first one white bead from the five. So the remaining is going to be four white beads and then four black beads. You do the very same thing that we did on this side. This is the new row. So another thing that also going to decrease like the white block is your black. So you currently had four. So on this new row, you're going to have three. On the next row, you're going to have two. On the other row, after the two, you're going to have one. So it's just going to continue to decrease as you move up. So the first pair is going to be your two black beads. And then you're going to have one black bead to make up the three. So you're going to have one black bead and one white bead.
and then you pick up two white beads two white beads so once you have your three white beads you want to start introducing this black so as you can see this row when you move down that's where the first black bead was added so you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead and then you pick up one white bead and one black bead then you pick up one black bead and one white bead you do the very same thing that you were doing on the other side and then you pick up one white bead and one black bead so this this part here this row is the same as this row here that's what I meant at the beginning of the video that you're doing the very same thing that you're doing when we're starting our butterfly. It's just that you're doing it in reverse. So you're going to pick up your two white beads. So after this point, you're going to add your three white beads and your three black beads and then two white and two black. So I'm going to come back on the, on the next row. This is the new line. So for this line at the corner, we're going to have two black beads. Because on our previous line, we had three black beads. So you're going to pick up your two white beads. And then at this point, you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead we want to expand the black part so here yeah, so this part is the same as this part so as you can see here our black kept on growing let me put it like this so our black keeps on growing and increasing you only have the stem and the wings they keep on decreasing so this is the very same thing that we are doing at this point we are establishing the stem and making sure that the wings decrease and the black part keeps on increasing so you're going to pick up one white one black bead and one white bead And then you pick up one white bead and one black bead. Then you pick up one black bead and one white bead. Then you pick up one white bead and one black bead. Then you pick up one black bead and one white bead. One black and one white. So you're going to continue, uh, you're going to pick up, make sure you have your three white beads, your two black beads, and then your two white, and then your two black. You're just going to continue as you did on the other side. So let me continue, we'll meet on the next row, the last row, the next row that we'll be doing will be our last row. So this is the new row. So at this point, you're going to pick up one white and one black. No, 
you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead this is the last black so this point is the same as this point so now you're going to pick up your two white beads And at this point, you're going to pick up two black beads. And then you pick up one black bead and one white bead. Then you pick up one white bead and one black bead. So this is the last row that we're going to do for the tutorial. You're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead. Then you pick up one white bead and one black bead then you're going to pick up your two black beads then you pick up your two white beads And then you pick up one white bead and one black bead. So this is where we're going to stop for this tutorial. If you ever get a bit confused or a bit lost on how you should continue to move forward, what you can do, you can just flip your butterfly like this and look at how you went for example currently on the third row so that means on the next row you're going to have five white beads so you won't have any black so you're going to have five white beads four black beads two white two black two white and then four black beads five white beads so that's how you can look back to see how far you can how you can move forward because this part and this part are the very same thing so this is where we're going to stop queens and kings i really hope this tutorial you managed to this tutorial was understandable and easy to follow thank you so much for watching on the next video i think we should take a little bit of a break <laughs> from the ndebele pattern yeah we've we've done it it's fine we're going to come back because remember i also promised one more color ndebele stitch yes ndebele pattern so but can we take a little bit of a break um we're going to dwell into the tosa uh beads so we're going to do one bead item for tosa and then maybe after that we're going to return to the Ndebele, the colorful Ndebele pattern. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Queens and Kings. I love you guys so, so much. Remember to love yourself, respect yourself, honor yourself, and have fun. If you love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. See you on the next video. Bye!